हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम दानिश अख्तर फ्रॉम सरदार पटेल यूनिवर्सिटी अगेन वेलकम यू टू द ऑनलाइन सीरीज ऑफ अवर प्रैक्टिकल्स एंड टुडे वी आर परफॉर्मिंग अवर थर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज द सेपरेशन ऑफ सुगर बाय पेपर कोमेटोग्राफी व्हाट इज पेपर कोमेटोग्राफी बिफोर दैट वी मस्ट नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्रोनोग्राफी The chromatography is a technique used for the identification of the separation of mixture of component based on their affinity toward stationary phase or mobile phase. In case of paper chromatography, your respirational phase is your paper and a mobile phase which is used as a solvent. Know the principle behind this separation of sugar by paper chromatography. is that different sugar have different affinity to a stationary phase or mobile phase and different sugar are different our rf value if you have given a mixture of sugar you have to separate it out and find out which type of sugar are there you can perform this by performing your paper chromatography you have to identify the rf value of the different sugar spots obtained and compare the same with the standards so you can easily identify this sugar by knowing their rf value in a standard condition of temperature pressure and humidity now let's talk about the basic requirement to perform this practical so let us discuss about first what are the chemical required for what for that for that solvent system we have to use chemical mixture of three chemical and a ratio 4 Ratio one, ratio five, and your first is ambutanol, acetic acid, and water. A combination of this in a ratio four, ratio one, ratio five. How to prepare, which can be used as a solvent system for performing this practical. Now, if you talk about other chemical requirements and glassware requirement, so you have to require sodium bicarbonate, potassium permanganate. The mixture of the sodium can is used as a detecting agent after the separation of components by paper chromatography. Your spray bottle, a speaker. Your spray bottle, a beaker, a glass rod, and a petri dish, and your paper. What may paper is used as a stationary phase in people who hold the. graphic so why apartment paper is used why no why not paper is used because what mean filter paper is good in quality and the movement of the solvent is uniform throughout the pupil that's why we use what mean filter for performing paper chromatography now perform the practical your first step is to prepare a solution or something system of the homen solvent system that is ambition on acetic acid and water in a ratio 4 ratio 1 ratio 5 i have already prepared and certified the sample using a butanol acetic acid in water in ratio 4 ratio 1 ratio 5 now after the preparation of the solvent system you have to saturate the tlc chamber so that after you put your paper inside your tlc chamber the movement of solvent will be uniform okay this is how i have covered the beaker or you can say dlc chamber with the filter paper so that it can be saturated now next step is that you have to cut what mean paper For a rectangular size, please a mark a straight line over one centimeter from the bottom and mark three spots at bottom where where you are going are going to put your sample. Your samples include three sample: one is standard, second is standard, and the third standard. Take sample which is a mixture of both. Your first sample is your glucose and is. In second, is lactose. In third, is a combination of both glucose and your taste. So you have to identify or compare the RF value of sample with the standard phones. Now the next procedure is takes you filter paper, Wattman filter paper, and with the help of capillary marks a spot on your filter paper. A small amount of the spots have to be put on the people. You have not to put a large weak amount of spot. It is sufficient to put a small drop of your sample. Similarly, you have to put the second, third is a combination of your both sugar and lactose. So have so you have to put your sample and allow it to dry air dry once it is air dry after you dry you have to put your paper inside your tlc chamber for solvent rise now after air drying your filter paper hang it on your the tlc tlc chamber precaution is that you have to dip only the bottom of your paper you have to take precaution at that your sample will go inside your solvent system once you put your paper allow it to run up to 80 of its surface area and then after that dry it and we are preparing a reagent containing potassium permanganate and sodium carbonate and we will spray the reagent after drying over people pupil and you will find yellow spots in a purple background so you have to calculate the rf value by marking your solvent 
front distance value by solvent and a distance cells by solute now solvent is rising with the capillary reaction against the gravity as you are seeing in this video and the meanwhile we have prepared our spraying agent that contain potentially magnet and sodium bicarbonate which is sprayed over the TLC your paper after its complete running after its dying it will give a yellow colored support spot where the sugar are identified now since our paper has reached approximately about 80% of its area so now we have removed the paper paper and mark the solvent front of a pencil. Allow to dry the paper till it completely dries. After the complete drying of the paper, we are going to spray a reagent. Now you have to spray a reagent or the paper till it completely covers the whole paper. Now if you are able to see at the paper, you will find clay spots over the paper that is your solvent front you have to calculate the distance soil by solvent by calculating this distance and distance cell by solid by calculating this sports distance from the front line lastly you have to calculate the RF value by using the formula stress style of by solute upon distance one by solvent so do student i hope you understand the basic behind the practical what is chromatography what is paper chromatography here paper using this stationary phase and biophase is a mixture of solvent and your component your solvent are separated based on their affinity toward stressor phase or mobile phase or they have they have calculated our value of different sugar and compared the same with the standard sample this is how we can identify your separate sugar molecule by using paper glucothion thank you for watching this lecture or practical